What's going on, guys? Welcome back for another episode of Z Day Hearts of Heroes. All right, so a number of you guys have messaged me about this game, saying you guys love it, you guys want to play more of it. You're gonna quit Guns of Glory, you're gonna cut, uh, quit King of Avalon, and that's all fine and dandy, guys. It really is. But like I said, this game is about the same like all those other ones, but it still is fun in its own right. It's just different graphics, different skins, and all that. And that's what gravitated me towards the game. So that's why I like it. All right, so right now we're about to go up to headquarters 12. And I probably shouldn't do it yet, but I'm going to go ahead and knock it out. 22 more hours. Actually, wait a minute. What I should have done... Uh, I need to get these nodes up, man. Let's get some nodes. It's only going to be an hour. So by the time we go to bed, we'll go ahead and get the castle level 12 going. That's what we're going to do. It's just going to happen. All right, I just need to get these nodes leveled up. Especially these iron works. I'm going to definitely need those in the long run. So I know for sure I need to go ahead and get those things going. So right now it's telling us to do the shooting range, which we're doing right now. That's the next upgrade we're doing. Can't complain about that one. And all the upgrades are basically going to cost me nothing, guys. And I'm not even wearing the full set of the... Um, what's that? The sailor's gear or whatever that's called? I got some pieces. I got a mixed match. The leadership gear. All right, so we can upgrade our base. It's not going to cost anything. Nothing. Actually, we need to put some more pieces on because it's going to take up 611,000 oil and 83,000 food, which I don't want to spend anything at all. So we're going to put some more leadership pieces in until it zeroes it all back out, and then we'll be okay from there. All right, so that's what we're going to do in the next hour or so. All right, so we got some threat victories. we got some other stuff like that. And I don't think I can take one or two threats, two level 10s at the same time yet. So once we get there, I call it double fisting. Once we get that going, then I know we've, we've arrived. All right, so we've been doing super soldier, but I need to get some production here going as well. So food gathering, iron production, iron gathering. And we can actually gather some iron now, which is great. So we definitely need to get that going also. Let's go ahead and just knock out some of these little cheap researches here. Kill a couple monsters, get some gear made up, and let's go from there. All right. So we are almost leveled up to player 14, and that's going to help us out with a little bit more um, deals here. So once we hit player 14, we'll be able to put some more points into... Let me look at that in a second here. Where will we put points and talents? All right, so we put most of them in balance, which I think... I don't think I need to do anything with storage protection. Not right now, anyway. Stamina recovery, not so much because we're not really killing that many monsters where it really matters. Now, once we start getting two mobs at once, like, you know, double fist, two level 10s, two level 11s, stuff like that, then we're going to start getting into some stamina deficits, basically. All right? And that's what I've noticed from other games like Guns of Glory, King of Avalon. Um, and that's just my experience. If you guys have any other kind of experience, definitely don't hesitate to share those down below. And definitely with the channel, guys, definitely want to thank you guys for everything you guys do. Keep on doing it subscribing throwing some likes putting those comments out there which is great you know good feedback negative feedback it's all good either way doesn't matter some people like what i do some people don't it's fine can't make everybody happy not my goal that is not my goal if i can make one person happy out of a thousand watching the videos i'm good with that all right i'm just putting out some information from my experiences all right let's see food gathering i don't know which one i should do yet because I don't think oil gathering is that necessary. Oil production, not so necessary there either. Um, I guess storage protection is going to be good because I think this is a war um, region, basically. So everyone does fight and kill event. Yeah, it was pretty real. It was a real kill event. I haven't been one of those in a long time. Oh, we don't have any points right now. But yeah, that was definitely a victory there. Let me see here. Yep, got the grade 2 design fragments. Definitely want to get a lot of those so we can start crafting this gear early. All the free stuff. Alright, so... Let me see here. Three minutes on that. And just getting used to this whole... The, uh, the deal here. The layout. Everything is different. Reinforcements, we got equipment, enhance. I don't think there's anything we can enhance. <clears throat> nope, nothing to enhance yet. 
super soldier equipment, nothing. We don't have anything for that guy. All right, warehouse, equipment workshop. I don't think we can enhance anything here either. Oh, we can enhance our gun. Our Jun. Let's go ahead and enhance that. Perfect. <clears throat> nothing else here. Nothing else there. All right. So we did get a little bit of enhancement there. Every little bit counts. All right, so let me see. Essentially, I'm just gonna kill some monsters and that's gonna help us out a lot. All right, so we're burning a little bit of stamina. I don't think I can kill two monsters yet, but we're gonna try. Try to double fist these guys. Double fist, equalize that. And we're gonna go to the next level 10 and we'll hope we can get that. We don't wanna rush. I think we'll stay at a happy medium here. Oh, research is complete. Let's go ahead and knock out the next one. And it's always good to be online when this happens. Usually I don't remember research. All right, so definitely, definitely I need some wall defense. If we can do that, no, that's nine seconds, we'll do it. Research again. Put some more into defense. All right, so that's 15 more seconds. <laughs> All right, so we're definitely growing wiser, definitely growing stronger. All right, so I'm going to put some more points into my, my super soldier. Whatever you guys are putting points into, please let me know. Because I don't know if I need to have health recovery. I mean, that's not really... Because they don't really have really good explanations on their on their descriptions here on what each one thing of each other things are. Now, definitely want to get some, um, I don't know, facility stamina is going to help us out. So storage capacity, I think, would help. Storage slots would definitely help. Um, stamina jolt, maybe? I don't know. Definitely soldier attack. We have to get our soldier some, some gear first. Because right now he's, like, naked. So it's going to suck. Okay, so rations, nothing there. Command center, except our rallies. We're only level, our building are level four. All right, so I don't know if that was a success or was a fail. I think it was a fail on both both parts. Yep, we can't double fist these mobs yet. So we need some more troops. All right, so once we have more troops cooked up, it's gonna even itself out, and then we'll be able to double fist these guys here. Easy. No homo. All right, definitely need to get this other stuff leveled up, and then we're right on track to get our um, our headquarters leveled up. That's just too easy right there, guys. Nothing hard there. Nothing hard at all. Yeah. All right. So that's one's returning. So let's go look for the next monster. Now we need to go ahead and revenge all these monsters here because we just failed on all of them. All right, so level 10 pyro. Now we can probably, I know we can kill two level 10s or two level, two level nines. I know we can do that. That I've, I've seen that happen. So that's not too bad. All right. Let these things go back out and run. Run for the border. Okay, so he's, he's going through there. Hmm. Yeah, I see myself getting uh, headquarters 20 fast. I don't see an issue with that at all. It's 20. I'm going to get that. No problems. And I know you guys wouldn't have any issues either. But yeah, you don't have to spin in this game. I mean, if you want to grow fast, then yeah, spinning, you're going to go fast, obviously. That's any game. A lot of people get mad when you know, there's people spending money in the games and all that. If they have it, they have it. If not, I mean, go to a less populated server if you can. Or just kind of have to just grin and bear it. You can grow. It's going to have a little hard time. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. 
I'm not going to tell you when to go out there and spend if you don't have it. It's pointless. But if you have it, go for it. But it does take the fun out of it, though. Because if you're out there just dominating everybody and killing everybody and all this, you haven't built anything up, it, it gets boring. It just does. All right, so we got a success here. Love it. All right. Now I wish anyone, I wish people was just uh, pop in a rally or two. That'd be so amazing if we can get some rallies going here. All right, so we do have some experience. Oh, let's go ahead and pop this experience so we can level. Do one def definitely want to level up. So we're gonna spend some v uh some of these points. All right, so we got some VIP points there because we would like to get the VIP four and work our way up the ranks. We got a puzzle piece. Raw honor metal fragment. Not sure what that's about. There we go. Now we leveled up. And let's go ahead and spend our points really quick. We have four skill points to use, guys. Now, let's see. Hospital capacity would be good. Healing speed would definitely be good, too. Those are always great. Because they do take a lot of damage. No matter what you do in this game, you're taking damage. Oil gathering, that's great too. Now farming in the beginning of the game, definitely would definitely I would, ah, I could definitely recommend it because you have to shoot these resources are it's gonna start to suck when I hit like 20. So I need to do I'm gonna do food gathering. I'll just put all the points in that and some iron production so we can start stacking our our, um, our stuff here. And what I'll do, I'll start putting some food aside. Go to our territory, go to our resources. We still have the oil well. Let's go to the storage. Put it down in there. We're gonna store. Put the food in there. And that's it. Store it. It doesn't use up any of your um upkeep or anything like that. So that's just the easier way to do it. That's what I do. Store some food. Now when you get to that maximum amount that you can store, then you're kind of screwed a little bit. But other than that, it's all good. It's no biggie. Store your food. All right, so we want to get 15 fast so we can start enjoying some more parts of the game. Because right now we're kind of like limited. You know, we're doing okay as far as getting in some rallies and killing some monsters and all that good stuff. That's all fine. But we need to get 15. That's when the game, to me, starts. 15, 20. Eh, about 15. Yeah, the game starts about 15. And that's, what I, that's from what I could tell. Now, I don't think I have any speed ups to speed all this other stuff up. So we'll just let it ride out. And from there... I think um, we also gotta need some iron. Definitely would like to help him out, but I only have like thirty-five thousand four hundred. Um, but yeah, definitely thanks for everyone, everyone for watching here. Hope you guys enjoy the episodes. Hope you guys watch every last one of them. Uh, even if you guys go back to watching the Guns of Glory and the King of Avalon ones, I have hundreds and hundreds of those videos going on. And hopefully with this game, I have hundreds and hundreds going on with this game as well. All right, guys. See you next time. Peace.